and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian G Zero VGS. Um, some time ago, I did a couple of videos on the Slidewinder vertical aerial from M1 ECC antennas. I also said that I'd do a comparison uh, video with the JPC 12. Conditions permitting, we're going to do that today. I've no idea what we're going to find. We're going to try and make the comparisons as even as possible. Uh, both aerials will be ground mounted and both will have radials of the same length. Both will be fed with the same coax of the same length and the radio will be the same in both cases, the Kenwood TS480 SAT. So first let's have a look at the two aerials. The JPC-12 is a centre-loaded vertical aerial that claims to cover 40 metres to 6 metres. It packs down to a really compact size and it all fits in a small carry bag that's supplied with the antenna. It's made up of several well-made aluminium sections that screw together, an adjustable coil and a telescopic whip. There's a short bottom section that has an SO239 connector fitted and a spike is screwed into the bottom of this and pushed into the ground. You can also get a low tripod to mount it when the ground is too hard. A length of ribbon cable is supplied with a soldered ring on the end to use as a counterpoise and this can be split to form more radials as required. The modular nature of the JPC-12 means that the coil can be fitted in several places and this may provide some interesting experimentation. I have heard that the aerial is being made to work on 60 metres this way, although I'm not sure how efficient the aerial will be on that band. The coil is just removed for the higher bands. The coil has two markings on it, responding to roughly 20 metres and 40 metres, and it can be quite twitchy to tune, and a little more granularity can be found by varying the length of the telescopic whip. That said, it's easy to get close, and the tuner will do the rest. The slide binder consists of a base mounted coil with a whip and a spike mount into the ground. The coil is somewhat more substantial and easier to tune than the JPC-12. It's supplied with four high quality radials and can also be tripod mounted. An extension mask can be purchased to raise the coil off the ground and you can use the tripod to raise it even further. The aerial will tune from 40 meters to 10 meters Again, the coil can be removed for the higher bands. You can check out my detailed videos on this antenna on this channel. So let's have a look at how each aerial compares on receive. So this is the signal of the station on the slide winder. And that's the station on the JPC-12. Slide winder. And that's the JPC-12. Now for this station, he's 5'9 at the moment. 
and he's 5-9 on both. So we'll hear the other station. He's 57 on the slide rounder. And he's about 58 on the Joe PC-12. Fifty-nine now. Right, it's now fifty-nine on both, so that's just conditions. Golf eight, Kilo Papa Delta, Golf X-ray five, Bravo Alpha Yankee. Yeah, Roger, Mr. Brian. Yeah, I'll copy. Yeah, the signal report very interesting on that on the uh, on your first aerial. Uh, it was varying between a, a five seven and five eight, very very slight increase in in, uh, in signal strength. And on the uh, on the last aerial, you went up to a five and nine, which dropped to a five eight. So that's a pretty consistent one S point difference, over. it? Yes, yeah, strange that. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, it's just uh, as we were set, uh, when we set up, as we were just, just doing the receive going round, uh, it was the other way round. Uh, you know, as we were, we were hitting signals, the uh, the slide winder was uh, you know doing the doing the better job. By just just by an S point, there was nothing in it. Uh, but uh, the, I think they just uh, match out quite nicely with each other, uh, not much between them. And uh, uh, I guess in fairness, if it was to give a critical report on it, for ease of uh, taking something out and about, uh, the, uh, the JPC-12 would have it because it comes in its own little carry bag. Uh, it takes about uh, seven minutes, if that, to, to put together. Uh, the slide winder slightly... Uh, easier on tuning and a bit for, more forgiving on tuning uh, but uh, not a great deal in it uh, Brian uh, over yeah, okay yeah the 50 watts and the other area are doing really well the, the, the path is holding up really good between us yeah it's, it's always a compromise Brian with aerial 3 really, you want but uh, you know when you're portable you want the least amount of hassle and um, you know so you can get the station set up and uh, and taken down very easily so um, yeah one S point, um, you know, it was on the plus side, so, um, yeah, and, and the, the, you know, the transmission on the last time was, was consistent. Uh, QSL, well, you're doing extremely well, John, extremely well. You're 5 and 5 to 5 and 6, no problem at all on your 5 watts. As I say, we're on 50, 5 zero watts, so... Uh, um, you know, we're a little stronger than you, but it's great to hear somebody running QRP. Uh, some noise with you, but no problem at all copying. From Golf X-Ray 5, Bravo Alpha Yankee. Yeah, QSL, QSL, John, yes, fine. Well, we are using the slide winder um, and it's mounted on its ground spike. So uh, we've tried to get the two aerials as similar as possible. Uh, currently, I'm on the JPC-12, uh, which is a center-loaded vertical, uh, slightly longer, but has a, a smaller coil. Um, so that's what I'm on at the moment. I'll just switch antennas, John. And this is the slide winder. So I'm now on the slide winder. It'd be interesting to see uh, what difference, if any, you hear. From Golf X-Ray 5, Bravo Alpha Yankee. Yeah, QSL on that, John. Thanks very much indeed. I'm back on the uh, JPC-12 at the moment, which seems to be marginally better currently, uh, but that doesn't mean to say that uh, things might not change. It was the other way round earlier, but we're talking an S-point. It's something and nothing. Anyway, John, all the best to you. Thanks very much for coming back to the call. Uh, great to get you in the log today. MI3, JHF, Golf X-Ray 5, Bravo, Alpha Yankee. 
So I had a great time um, and it was a very interesting experiment. The two antennas um, were, were fairly evenly matched. Uh, the band conditions were slightly variable. Um, so things changed a little bit as, uh, as we went on. But on the whole, the two antennas were fairly evenly matched. Um, we, uh, we managed a couple of contacts on 20 meters as well, and we were getting good signal reports uh, off there as well. So um, no complaints at all. And um, yeah, it was great. It was so good that I forgot to record an outro when we were in the field. So uh, here I am at home uh, recording said outro. Um, Anyway, uh, we had a great time. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you have, please don't forget to uh, click that like button and if you haven't subscribed, why not? It's totally free and it would be good to have you with us. Until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian G0VGS. Um, a while ago I did a couple of videos on the Slidewinder portable vertical antenna from M1 ECC antennas. I also said that I'd do a comparison version. Um, that's rubbish, so we'll try that again. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian. Try and give you call sign in. Take 56. Bit that way. I need to be looking at the camera. Okay. Behind the camera, to me, that that's it. So I'll look as if I'm looking at the camera. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian. Um, a while ago, <laughs> hold it down like this, because otherwise I'm looking up. I'll be going in a minute. <laughs> I'm not for the, for the I, I could see it, trust me. Okay. I'll, I'll sort of do that when I want you to raise it up a tad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, something else to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We'll, uh, we'll let this um, settle down. hilarity settle down. Right, okay.